Whites often ask me why English is so confusing. What are they referring to? Speaking English is not baffling. For example, we pronounce this state Kansas, but this state is not pronounced Arkansas. What is confusing about that? To answer the ties question, I have no idea. Moving on, welcome to Arkansas. I can saw rub Josh Pizza. Sometimes I find the state's t shirts in the oddest places. Here's the local repair shop for motorcycles. Arkansas is the largest rice producer in America, and around 200 million bushels of rice are harvested each year. The rice industry contributes to almost 25,000 jobs across the state. Needless to say, rice is big business in Arkansas. Rice is central to Thai society and it is one of the main food group and source of nutrition for the majority of its citizens. Rice farming is big business in Thailand. As a matter of fact, Georgia's pizza is surrounded by rice fields. Thailand is one of the world's largest exporters of rice. Out of all the country's farmland, half of it is used to grow rice. Now let's take a look at the rice cycle. From start to finish takes about four months. In my area, the farmers have two, sometimes three crops per year. Other parts of Thailand might only be able to grow one round of rice. Overall, Arkansas is one of the poorest states in America, and as often the case throughout America, the larger cities tend to be where the money's at, and unfortunately, it is the isolated rural families that tend to be at the bottom of the food chain. Thailand is no different. Most folks in Bangkok tend to have it much easier than many of the rural people. The following clip is from the local village and shows the condition of houses that many of the poorest families live in.
Back in the day, it was common for fathers to try and attempt their barbering skills on sons to save money. <laughs> Here's my experience. Curious George visits a barber. Many of the Thai fathers also try their hand at being a barber. Our local village also has three barber shops and they all charge 80 baht for a haircut. That is $2.30 in American money. And I always throw in a 50 cent tip. A few years back I decided enough of the hippie look and had G give me a trim. Not a bad haircut for $2.88. One of my old army buddies happens to run his own barber shop in Arkansas. Let me go out on a limb and say Matt probably charges more for a haircut than barbers here in Thailand. Matt was my roommate for a while in the army. He wasn't around much as he was on the army's boxing team. I actually boxed him once and the match lasted less than 30 seconds. Matt wasn't the one who got knocked out. Nevertheless, if you need a haircut in Arkansas or Thailand, just let me know in the comments. On to the next story. Growing up surrounded by cornfields, I know what a good ear of corn should taste like. However, when it comes to rice, I'm lost. To me, all rice tastes the same. However, D is just the opposite. There is 12 different strains of rice in Thailand and I think she can taste the difference between all of them. <laughs> My family is a rice farmer. This is the rice my family grew. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the Pelican State.